hello everyone so in this video i'm gonna show you basically how to never lose to a corner again because playing the overtune pack at update 6 you shouldn't really lose to anything you know and this strat that i found out to basically get a leg break on a corner on the second hit pretty much every single time it will make you become a true leg inspecting packy just watch this Turn around, hit them like that, and then he got leg pressure. Like that, and then he got leg pressure. Now, this Carno is also using the said walk or the slow walk, which makes the turn rate so much tighter. So, this is just to show off like the worst case scenario for meeting a Carno, because most of them will not even know about this said walk and their turn will be so much slower which also makes the strat much more efficient so HP? Uh, 57 but it's still manageable mm. now we just need to be a little bit more careful but don't get decent kit Worst case, I can mean I can just try to run off. Is that leg break? Yeah, that was leg break. Yeah. yeah. Run straight back. That was good. But it's that should be leg break. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got the leg break. Bang. Yes. And this way. Got to hit as fast as possible on the leg. You got the leg break? Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> run straight behind and then like this. Connor can try run I just away. Do this. Maybe you can try. <laughs> then stand still. Do the same thing for the fracture only. That was the leg break, right? Yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> I think it's just update six. Just like that. Oh, <laughs> Gonna have to redo that. Oh, bonk didn't work. There we go. Gonna like oh, this. Bad. And then like that. That should be leg break. Yeah. Coming. Yes. Fast up. Turn the other way. I'm head fractured. I'm only head fractured. Okay. Still only head fractured. That should be leg. Yeah. There we go. Got the leg. What's Three. your HP? Uh, my HP is 63, but that is perfectly enough to kill a corner now but when you go you can't you can't like um, do the bonk straight to your side you need to do like a little bit to the side only you can't bonk too much to the side you need to find like the sweet spot i think if the Karno doesn't know about the strat then it's pretty impossible yeah yeah but you can try to get a bite while i Hit the bonk if you want to try that again. Nope. I'm not sure. I did it, but. I do I have to bite earlier, maybe? Nope. If I run oh, up I'm on you, picture. if I run up, then hit you. Try that. Try bite me then. Yeah, so you just need to hit. Do the timing right with the packy. Hit before you reach the corner. So, as long as you just hit before you reach the corner, he won't be able to bite you. It's only if you run up on him like this and then bonk, that's when you will get hit. 
So right now, I'm just gonna show you how to take out another Karno. This is another player. So I will show you different styles of Karnos, how to take them out. Just go to the side, take out the leg, and then you're fine. Then either dodge, you can do that as well, or come at him. Wait for the slide if he slides, like he did there, but it was too late. Chill out a little bit. Give him a bite out of disrespect, you know. Now, to master this strat, you might need a little practice. And even then, you might also miss a few hits, or you might also not land a leg break, even though you should. But just keep going, because eventually, you will land the leg break. And you get the leg break. So you act like you don't see him, so he doesn't stop the charge. And then block the charge, go to the side. Act like you don't see him. And then hit him, go to the side. And there I messed up the side bonk. You see my, cho my attack just... Uh, cancels out you have to be careful with that and you will get the leg break well eventually that was a leg break so the strat basically goes out on you using the corners longer stun duration to basically just run around the corno and then hit him right behind his legs just before he has time to turn around. But after not waiting the 3 seconds and doing another bonk he will not get stunned so you will get a bite on you. But it's basically a trade so you trade a bite for a leg break. And you will be fine. Try to dodge them as well and hit the leg like that. That was a leg break. Yeah. So you don't want to get hit. Just make sure the corner doesn't have desync because then you will be fucked. Try to chase after him for a little bit. See if he slides. And that was the leg break. Slide roll bites works out for you. So still act like you don't see him. So you can dodge him without him doing anything extra. And that was the strat again. Let's try to not get hit now. Get the leg break without getting hit. My first strat when fighting Karnos, before I knew about the leg break one, was just to hit him once and then get behind him. Oh, he already got leg break now. He knows I see him now. Just try to stay behind him. And then just follow him till he slides. If he goes too far away and you wait too long so your ram will cancel. Just back off a little bit. See what the corner does. When he gets close, just bite or ram him. And you will get the leg break eventually if he keeps sliding. Thinking he can do anything else than just ramming up to 6. Because the thing with Karnos, they can't really do anything else than just try to ram you. So, every Karno player will fight pretty much the exact same way. You just have to be careful about their turn rate while in ram. So you need to hit them once and then stay behind them like this. See if they slide, which most will. Otherwise, you chill. He will eventually run out of stem anyways. Keep dodging him. See what he does. He runs away a little bit. I get stem while he loses his. You can try to dodge or ram and block. I think I can just keep running him down because eventually he will lose patience and try to like alt bite me or slide to 
dodge me or something. But when he gets too far away, just let it go. And get your stun back. Try to bait him by sitting down. Don't do it when he's too close though. Scare him a little bit. Now we got body fracture, which is not very good for him, because he will lose stem super super fast. And that was the leg break, yeah. You can do all of it, but the desync on update 6 just makes dodging Karnos very 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 hard. So you will want to try to go for the block most of the times and remember the length of the bonk is kind of insane as well you can also go for the offense oh that wasn't leg break i missed that was leg break That was it. Yeah, it's the it's the new desync on update six that also makes Yuta so incredibly unviable. You can basically only try go for the block on the Peki. Dodging pretty much anything will be super super hard for both Omni and Peki when it comes to Carnos and Omnis when it comes to Pekis as well. There was the not not a leg break yet. Doesn't matter. She's in the corner. And there he goes. No, not leg break, okay. Yeah, there we go. So after he has gotten his leg broken, you basically just want to hit him and then walk away from him while regaining stam. And the best diet for going solo packy will be free orange diet. So you want to go full on orange diet because that will give you the most amount of stem regain. Uh, one other thing to um, think about when fighting a corner is that you need at least a slight ram before you do the bonk. You cannot just tap on, because if you tap on, you will not stun the Karno. So, if you do the tap on, you will not do the stun. So you need to have at least a little bit of a charge up before you do the stun. Let's see how far the charge is. Let's try all the way from over here. Wait, try to even myself out with him. Like that, so with some flat ground. That will also hit him, eh? Away from over here. Aim at him. That will not do it. Okay. But this will. Wow. I'm not even fucking touching him. <laughs> Alright. 